I, I grew up in the church. Uh, I was a youth group kid. That's where you make most of your friends when you're homeschooled. And uh, me and my friends, we started a Christian rock band when we were 16. I don't know if you're familiar with Christian rock. Uh, it's just like regular rock, but usually not as good. Which is why it really hurts when your Christian rock band doesn't make it. Because you're like, man, we didn't even have to be that talented. <laughs> and that's when you got to call the band together for a meeting and be like, well, Malachi, <laughs> Zachariah, <laughs> Jeff from public school. <laughs> Guess it just wasn't God's will, huh? <laughs> and that's when God's like, hold on a second. That wasn't anybody's will, okay? <laughs> Don't blame that on me. <laughs> I like regular rock. <laughs> a lot of my friends, a lot of my youth group friends uh, wore uh, promise rings or purity rings. I don't know if y'all are familiar with those here. Some sad nods from people still wearing theirs. Um, I, I didn't wear one. Uh, if you're not familiar, it's just a ring that, that teens would wear to, to let the world know that they were just as big a nerd in private as they are in public <laughs> until they get married. And uh, I didn't wear one, I didn't have to, because I was homeschooled. So that would be redundant. Uh, <laughs> I realized really quickly, actually, that a nice pair of handmade corduroy pants sewn by my mom sent the exact same message, you guys. Yeah. Called them my purity pants. Any belt can be a chastity belt if you're wearing your purity pants. You guys, <laughs> I did eventually get married, uh, and it's great. Uh, I love being married so much. I've done it twice, and um, I also have five kids. Nice. Yeah, oh. I love it. Everywhere else in the country, people are like, what? Five kids? But in Utah, they're like, he's just getting started. What if it's... <laughs> Nobody's surprised. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Uh, they're, not all, they're not all mine. I've got four uh, sons from my first marriage. They're all basically teenagers now. And then uh, I picked up a little stepdaughter off a of free agency a couple of years ago that I'm very excited about. <laughs> it's very cool. Uh, but I love being a dad. It's a lot of kids, but I love being a dad, especially when, um, when I look like I could be one of them. Um, that, makes it, that makes it fun. I, I went and had lunch with my fifth grader um, not too long ago, and he introduced me to one of the kids in his class. And this kid was a good two or three inches taller than me, probably 15 pounds of chicken nuggets heavier. <laughs> and had the most gorgeous mustache I have ever seen on a child. And so my son introduces me to this girl, and I'm not making this up. She looks right at me and she goes, did you get beat up a lot in elementary school? Cause you look like you got beat up a lot in elementary school. And I was like, no, I was homeschooled. I think this will be my first time. <laughs> she ended up being really nice though, and uh, <laughs> didn't get beat up. But I, I did stay for recess, and uh, we played basketball uh, with the kids. And I was on my son's team. His name is Elliot, and uh, and our team was just killing it because um, not to brag, but I'm like really good at fifth grade basketball. And, <laughs> So we're just 
crush in the other team, a little boy on the other team gets mad and he slams the ball down and he goes, man, of course they're winning. They've got Elliot's brother on their team. He's almost a grown man. If you ever find yourself arguing with an elementary schooler about whether you are a real man or not, you've already lost. There's nothing you can do. He's got to take your ball and go home like a grown man. Hey, it's me, Jeremy, the guy from the clip you just watched. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not watch my whole special on Dry Bar Comedy Plus? Do it now. It's great, I promise.